Hi, welcome to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley, for anyone who doesn't know, and this is the day in the life of my kitchen. So we've got a risotto, we've got cupcakes for the teachers, end of year, and girls' brigade. But first, we're going to start with a quick haul from Discount Dragon. Right, guys, so Discount Dragon has just dropped off. As I like to do with the um, day in the life, I thought I'd just throw it in there. I can't remember individual prices, um, but all of this that you see was £20. Exactly. Now I'm lying, £20, 20p or something. Hmm. So all of it together, including the full boxes of items, tuna's everything. So we tried these when I had a baking day with Amy and she did some um, flapjacks. And she really enjoyed these. She said they tasted different. Maybe because it's whole grain oats. But uh, yeah. So I've got a couple more of those. Steve and myself. We do like some nice granola don't we? And Jordan's is a really nice brand. This is crunchy oat granola. Raisin and almond. So obviously Caitlin can't have that. But she's not having it anyway. It's Martin and Steve's. So we'll have that. Kids have gone right off cereal. I'm probably going to end up having to chuck boxes that I've got which is ridiculous. We've got some mini, mini mayonnaise. <laughs> this is like one tea time, I would imagine. <laughs> but they were really cheap. So I thought, just chuck them in my uh, stock cupboard and at least I know there's spares in there. So I've got three of those uh, mayos. That's the size of my hand. No red spreadable honey, have you? I mean, it's, I suppose it's just the same, isn't it? But it's purple. But yeah, they had this, so I thought I'd grab that. Can never have too much honey. This is a full pack here. Um, my kids during the summer don't re really get the chocolate, do they? Because their container is now empty. I made them empty it. In other words, eat everything. And so I thought I'd just get chews. Because they're not going to melt, are they? Not like the others. So, how many is in it? 14. There's 14 in there. And I'm sure that was about £1.50, something like that. Got these for Steve. Steve does like crackers or whatever with cheese. So these are the Olina's Bakehouse. These are Australian. Seeded toasts. These are fig and almond. Ideal with cheese, dips and other condiments. So I thought I'd get him them to try. Steve's pretty good at trying new things. I think they're about 49p each. And these are the sesame seed wafer crackers. Again, Steve will try anything, so. But they look quite nice. These were a pound each for a pack of three. So I got two of those. And no, it's not because the date's gone. It's next year. So you do grab some bargains. And Steve's just been shopping. He didn't know that Discount Dragon was coming or what I'd ordered. And he was looking at tuna, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. So it's just as well he didn't get any. So I got those. I usually get these if they're on the site. These are $1.99. These are broken up smarties. These are great for ice creams, for kids baking. They go in loads of things, really. So I do miss them when they're not in the house. So I've got two of those. Hopefully that'll last through the summer. Now, I've got these before. These are in full boxes. There's 12 packs in each. My two kids, especially Amy, really, really enjoy these fruit squares and they was taking them for snacks at school but I thought since they've got them I'll get them again and then just put them into their container it's a healthier ver version for a snack than a chocolate bar so I've got two full boxes of those as well so we had the other one, ones of these and there was vanilla Amy does not like them so Caitlin's been having them in a pack up box so I found the ones with the cocoa filling. I've just got to check the box to see if Caitlin can have it. I didn't find, they don't have extra details on um, the website as to whether it's got nuts or not, so I'll have to check the box for that. I think that was maybe one ninety nine as well, or two ninety nine at the most. And there's 12 in there. Two packs of brownie M&Ms. I'm a bit of an M&M fiend, I do prefer peanut. Not the biggest fan of the brownie, but I'll take 
brownie over nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I've got two of those. And these were like 10p a bag. As soon as it's, Steve didn't know what they were, but as soon as he spotted dairy milk, his hand was straight in there. So I'm sure he'll enjoy these as well. So I've got four packs of these. There was literally six or seven in it. That's it. So yeah, well, mini milk chocolate eggs with smooth orange flavoured milk chocolate centre. So yeah, chocolate orange. So that is what we got from Discount Dragon. Carry on with the rest of the video. So we're making cupcakes for school and some for Girls Brigade. As you can see, I've already made a batch. I forgot to turn the camera on, so yeah. <laughs> it's just a simple recipe, four ounces of everything, two eggs, and Bob's your uncle. I can't remember how many I did. Um, did 24 for Girls Brigade. Because they had a party. So yeah. 24 for Girls Brigade. And there was a dozen for Ka um, Ka Caitlin's teacher because she's retiring. And then half a dozen for Amy's teacher. Good job they literally take five minutes to just whip up a batch in it. Takes longer to cook them, cook them than make them. And I was just pouring them into there. Every time I made a batch, just poured it into there because it's easier to put into the tin, into the baking papers. As you can see, it's full. <laughs> Just a simple chocolate cake, cupcake. The decoration was simple as well. I just put a a chocolate drizzle over half and then some sprinkles over the others and it was just topped with sweet and fresh cream So those ones there are just turned into marble cakes. I didn't have enough chocolate to make a dozen. So I just whipped a plain one, thought I would make marble cakes out of the other side. That's all I did. Managed to get the full amount out then. At this point, I've had enough. <laughs> so, yeah, just baked them. Um, an easy frosting, fresh cream. Didn't put a tip in, just snipped the end. Yeah, 
this was not the best time for me to be doing these, but it doesn't matter, it's done now, so. So that's the ones with chocolate drizzle. Get a sec. Yeah, there you go. Look, I start throwing them. <laughs> it's the easiest way, really. And that's all I did to the other ones. It was simple as that. So, for the risotto, I had some roasted chicken bones in the freezer. So I thought I'd do my own stock. Didn't add anything to it except the chicken bones. Um. So, yeah. I cooked up the chicken bones in water use the stock um my dog was at the side of me waiting for what was left on these chicken bones that's what you can see me doing <laughs> bless her so she had plenty of chicken yesterday I did start chucking the uh, excess chicken off the bones into the thingy, but into the risotto. But I see no little round eyes there, so I gave it and give it to her instead. <laughs> so I'm just frying off some bacon. Cut your bacon into whatever size you want. Then add in half a large onion, 250 grams of sliced mushrooms and about 150 grams of sliced chorizo. This risotto, from the time you start making it, that's the green garlic. Um, put your oven on gas six or whatever the equivalent is. To preheat because this gets cooked inside the oven so once you've done this first initial bit it'll cook the it'll cook in the oven then which is always good so I give this a few minutes obviously the trick so it's cured so you don't have to worry about cooking that I'm just giving the onions time to cook a little bit so the green garlic went in now some peas you could put green beans in there you could put what you like in there it doesn't have to be peas i don't like peas but i don't notice them in this to be perfectly honest there you are closer shot now i'm hungry again This was really, really nice. A tad, a tad salty from the bacon, but nothing that I would, that would put me off eating it. So there goes the risotto rice. This was for two people, so that was 150 grams. And the stock you want, could either use vegetable or sticking sticking if you want to use sticking you can but there is chicken as well <laughs> um it needs to be about 500 mils and that's what i had i'm just going to combine all this just scrape the, the bottom a little bit there look get that flavor up all you want to do is bring this to the boil pop the lid on and I placed it into the oven for 22 minutes. In that time I had a chance to wash the pots, sit down and chill. As you can see, not a lot went into that and it didn't take very long to cook. 
I'd say about 30 minutes in total. There, once it comes out of the oven, it's all done for you. If you find it's just a little bit undercooked, don't put it back in the oven, just put the lid back on and leave it. Leave it for a couple of minutes and the residual heat will do the rest. But this was absolutely yum. Got some parmesan going on the top there. And there you have it. Yummy, yummy in our tummy. And it, and it really was. So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> I think this, about, this is number 26 in the day of life of our kitchen. So give the others a, a look if you haven't already watched them. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share it if you can. And chat to you down in the comments. Bye.